Don't know if you've had a chance to step outside tonight. May want to do that. The moon's still pretty full out it there. Is. It's not the lunar eclipse night, but it's nice. It's still bright. Beautiful. It's still very, very, very close to yeah. Earth for sure. And it's also still mostly clear. So we're getting a very stunning view. Man, very it nice. was so neat to see a lot of viewers photos, though, of that reddish tint in I the sky last great. night. I, I went out Did you stay out past did, our bedtime? I, I did. I, <laughs> I did. did. <laughs> no doubt. Nerding right out. So yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful evening as we wrap things up and wake up tomorrow morning. I think we're actually going to see a lot of clear skies for your Tuesday morning. One thing some spots may be dealing with could be a little bit of Apache fog in some locations. Otherwise, it will be mostly clear. I got a lot of downtown Tampa right there. A lot of the sky, which is mostly clear, even a little bit of the shine there in the corner of your screen from the moon tonight. 80 degrees, though. This is easily one of the more mild temperature readings right now on the map. Elsewhere, it is in the mid to upper 70s. Those clear skies are actually going to allow a lot of the heat that we did see today escape right back into the atmosphere and cool down those temperatures slowly but surely, but it'll happen into the lower to mid 70s by the time you wake up on Tuesday morning. Tuesday afternoon, we'll see a few clouds hang out with us, but it will be a mostly sunny and a mostly warm day. So after a mild, mild start in those mid to near lower 70s around the bay, little cooler inland in the upper 60s. This is what our afternoon temperatures could look like easily soaring into the 90s. You know, today we made it to 87. I think we are going to end up surpassing that by a few degrees tomorrow afternoon. Only along the coastline is where things could be a little bit cooler because as mentioned earlier, we had that onshore flow. That wind out of the west is getting gulf temperatures, that gulf water, which has been in the lower to mid 80s, brushing it on land and keeping the coastline a little bit cooler compared to our inland locations. Boaters, it's not going to be bad for you at all tomorrow. We'll keep seas under a foot with a light chop out on the bay. So mostly quiet and mostly clear overnight. I'm stopping this at sunrise tomorrow morning, so I just wanted to show you a little bit of some patchy fog that will impact a few folks out there. Won't last long, though. A lot of sunshine to enjoy. Only a 10% chance in the afternoon we may see a late day spot shower or two, but just like today, I think a lot of the radar is going to stay dry for your Tuesday. Wednesday, it's still a 10% chance, a little bit better for our inland locations, and I think this trend is actually going to continue through Thursday as well, where we keep those rain chances pretty isolated. They're on the low end. They're going to be more few and far between. That changes as moisture does start to build into the region Friday, Saturday. I think this continues even going into Sunday and Monday. And here's why you can see all this drier air that's been kind of hanging out with us. Sure, it feels humid along the surface, but that drier air has been limiting those rain chances by Friday, Saturday, going into Sunday. A lot of moisture starts to surge through much of the state from the south. That is going to basically be enough moisture to tap into the atmosphere when we get the heat of the day going. And that would, is what gives us that better scattered rain chance over the next couple of afternoons, at least, at least into this weekend. Also this weekend, we're going to be keeping a very close eye in the Western Caribbean, even into the Gulf by the middle of next week. There has been indication, especially with our GFS model, that an area of low pressure is going to want to get its act together, and that could have some tropical characteristics with it. So of course, we're still a little over a week away with that. We'll continue to monitor that very, very closely for you leading up into the next seven days above normal temperatures actually nearing record heat through our inland locations by the middle of this week rain chances do pick up this weekend it won't be a total washout but showers and storms will be better through the second half of the day